Hello everyone, my name is Hussam al or you just can call me Sam. Today I want to introduce you to Alima, which it means the person who has the knowledge or the person that who know. Alima is JavaScript's template uh, with me to basically be alternative for all the Python libraries that we see like Lemandix and Language Chain, but only for JavaScript, pure JavaScript. There is no Python here. I'm using only JavaScript stuff like Express and API, Nix.js, as a rubber and React, of course, for the interface. So the reason I made it is where a while ago I had a friend of mine who wanted to create a very simple website that will you upload your PDFs and you can ask it and you get the answer in, and the source of this answer. I took my time and created all the stuff in JavaScript stack only. It can be deployed on whatever what you want. For example, this one can deploy it in Heroku in very, very, very short amount of time. Get it from the link in the description and let's start. When you get Alime, you will get this file. It's a raw file because it's on Gamma Road. We're not allowed to link our GitHub for, uh, for some reason. I'll extract it here. The first thing that we will notice is the folder that we have here. It's just like components folder that have all the stuff that I need, like authentication, the chat, the email, uh, files, handle. All the stuff is here is just component with a style. Like you can actually customize this as, as, as just as you want. I tried to make it like clear as possible. A couple of files and helpers that help me in formatting date and text and time and the good token. And of course, because this is Nick GS, we have the basis folder which contained uh, the most important files with pages. We have the main page. I left it empty. You can customize it as much as you want. Do whatever you want with it. It's very flexible, this template. A login page. Register page is actually functional. You know, you need to need to just to modify the style if you wanted to. And a folder called C. You see inside it all the main file that we will use for the functionality, like chat and like when you chat with a PDF, and try to my best to write these functions in a flat way and easy, not that complex to understand. And the main page for which start thing that you want to uh, this, uh, which thing that you want to enter. We have speech to text. I made it like basically transcript using Whisper on OpenAI translation, and I just displayed that that you can do unlimited amount of prompting using this template. It's very flexible. You can use it however you want. You want. We have a regular Prisma. I'm using MongoDB. Because it's almost perfect for kindness, this stuff. It doesn't require a lot of work. Just you can switch it to whatever what you want. Public folder for icons. Of course, I'm using Redux to handle the states. We have a couple of states here like authentication and responses. The most important folder, in my opinion, is the server. It have a few folder inside it, roots, basically the roots of our ABI. The middleware. Uh, Molter because we are uploading our files, PDF files to Amazon. We keep it there because basically when you give the response based on the file, you can get the source of this page, which one of the stuff that it couldn't be done without storing the PDF on some place safe. And of course we can't store it on the same server that is wrong. So I had to put it in Amazon uh, S3, a bucket. We have controllers. We have actions, we have authentication like login and logout, sorry, login and register. It's very flat, there is nothing big about it. I'm using the, diff, uh, the regular stuff. Every folder have the roots inside it, because if you want to change it. And uh, of course, chatting with fi uh, files. The data that we upload, this is the most important logic, honestly. It took me a while to figure out to make it this way. Uploading the file, handling it, uploading to our Amazon bucket to our MongoDB to save it because we want to basically acquire this uh, file information and connect it to a user. And we have right now also stream of data, 
when we upload i give i get i get you get back a stream like basically a live update of which page have been uploaded and of course we have handling the search when we upload this file that we have and get it embedding basically turn it into the lo long number arrays that we get from open ai we start can use it to search and get the feedback and also stream i am using a basic prompt here i am telling what open ai can do and because when we get this data we won't summarize it of course i don't think it's a good idea just to print out the full source of information we can do that actually we just have to remove this summarization but summarization is actually a um, i will say a better way of getting the info without reading all the source you can here change the prompt if you want to uh, give it the results from the text i am answering and tell him to answer the questions just given from user in search only from this text and i'm using uh, the turbo version gbt 3.5 turbo because it's cheaper it's very fast it's effective it's doing what we need to do without paying a lot of money and i'm giving back a stream of the opening eye that's coming back and i'm attaching to it the array of information that we have basically i'm sitting here the array of pages that uh, pages that we get from our search i have other files uh, other functions like get all files basically the pdf that we have and a folder that inside it i'm here doing deleting of the files we delete the stuff from prisma our database to keep information from amazon and i commented this part and i left a note here this is delete from pinecon uh, it does work only if you have a paid plan it doesn't work if you have a free plan you have to remember that i will put note here and the rest is basic queries and crawls like folders structure uh, text to speech is just one a little bit tricky i had to do a little work around to how to transcript any audio file that you will upload or record in this uh, website or uh, this web project and finally we have user control like you can update the user and of course you can handle uh, the information that we get for the user basically the fire information i'm just walking through the stuff libraries we have a couple of libraries audio upload this is handling the uploading of the edus the handling of uploading files hashing opening i of course libraries here like pagination i mod this one as myself if you want to paginate anything you can build on top of it uh pdf yes this is a custom file i made that every page and return it as a text it will extract text from page by page here the streaming of the open i stream i'm using turbo version gbt 3.5 turbo i have also a build file for amazon that basically we can put it in a bucket and all the stuff we can put it in an env file and of course i have vectors because we're using bimecon to store our all vectors also before we start we need to fill the stuff it's our env i think you should remove this example and you will get something like this it explain everything here for example, we need an Amazon access ID. You get it from Amazon, the bucket name, folder name, and the Binecon environment, and the Binecon ABI key, and the index that we have bought it inside it. And of course, our OpenAI key, data, page URL. And we need to just put the username and password here, and the table that we will put our info inside it. Get all the stuff up and running. You have a functional website that you can build on top of it as whatever what you wanted it wasn't built for certain kind of information you can build on top of it legal stuff medical stuff um, if you want to build a, a project company based data that can be helpful i left here also um, a note about the aws packet you need to set the settings inside the uh, amazon packet so it can be public so you can show the pdf like a json that we have i'm using here this two line to deploy it in Heroku and that's it that's uh, our walkthrough the entire file but that's it right now we can we right now we need to install our packages so we can use and see what inside Halima I'm just gonna write nbmi which will handle the install 
all right right now all our packages have been installed we can just write npm run dev to run our app it uses nodemon to refresh the back end but this is just for development when you open basically this is the main page is the index page but when i try to enter the c page inside our pages it will redirect me to login because i'm creating a bear i made it for a private route I have a stupid account I made using the register page. I will show it to you one second. We can create any uh, account here, a username, email, password, and you can build on top of the stuff because there is an used in every single website. So let's back to our login, our my stupid password, login, and if successful, bam it redirect me uh, the main page here we have this main page for our functions it have a four functionality you can replace it customize it whenever what you want but we have speech text email assistant you can write emails language translation you can translate any language and smart search basically when you upload your documents or pdf you can ask it from here but i want to show you first the files Files page is basically when we can upload our own PDFs and control it from here, upload it from here, basically. You can select a folder. You can actually categorize files that we have under folders. So it will, you know, if you have different kind of data, different kind of folders. We have here one file I made. It's basically, I'm going to show you how to upload it. You can select whatever file that you want. I will put it under folder one. And when I click upload, okay the upload is completed we have already here our second file the one in one awesome and the second one is in folder one right now we can actually chat with any one of this by accessing chat from here we give us a symbol new chat we click a new chat in our new chat here we can type whatever what we want i will ask it what is the promise uh, building muscle lean muscle and hit enter what is the promise it here like how fast it can stream this is very fast and this is what i meant by the source by the end of this promise um summarization it gives us this links like uh, where did it find this source when when i click on one it give us this which is basically the source of the entire page this is what i meant by making um the source inside the stream because after it's done it will print out the source pages you can close it here and this is basically it this is the most important functionality inside here uh, we can go back to files and we can delete one of these two done and we go back here home let's try something else like um, speech to text it i will ask you for uh, can i use your microphone of course you can allow it here you can record or upload let's uh, try it with um uh, record first after you record you can just click send here here it returns to me hello hello my name is hasami dean welcome to codewello we can actually use this stuff to translate it to any language for example i don't know maybe japanese let's try it okay i don't understand how to read this but like as you understand that you can record whatever what you want send it to the server the server will return the text the text can be translated to whatever what you want i think it's pretty cool we are in a basic email assistant you can write whatever what you want and it will create email for you and language translation i want to show you one thing also about the chat here that we can create new chat and save the information that we create. Uh, we ask it what is a promise and it brings us actually the summarization here and the source of the page. We can save this here. If you like this data, you can save it here. Let's look at the PDF again. Yeah, here it returns us again. Okay, what if we left like files? And came back to the chat and click here and actually tell us what is the promise which the question that we ask and it will save our kitchen with our own uh, message and the source and all the stuff 
And that's it. That's basically the functionality of Halima. Okay, when a user upload a PDF to our server, it get uh, first thing that happened to it, it get break by pages and extract uh, from each page the text. Okay, we keep it in an array. Then we send this source PDF to Amazon, our bucket, uh, and save it there. We take the URL that we saved uh, of this information, number of pages, and all the struggle information like name and size, and save it on our database MongoDB. Then this text per page gets sent to our embedding. We are using OpenAI, I think it's Ada, and we are embedding every page and when it's turned it's saved to our vector database binecom okay it's a very simple uh, the reason i did it like this because the bdf url of the amazon aws it's saved on mongodb so we can when we do the search which happening here user search in a chat question to embedding using ABN AI, and we search inside uh, binecom when the return binecom with an id Okay, it returned the, the source of the pages and which saved the, inside the metadata of the ID of the file that we saved. And when we return it, we get from MongoDB also the data, uh, the information of this file. And we summarize the result of the first page that we got from uh, Binecon. And then we summarize it with OpenAI. Then we return the source to our user, as you saw in the client side. So that's basically it. It's a very simple, uh, it's just a bunch of steps of uploading, saving, embedding, handling the uh, save data correctly. And this project is an ongoing project based on your feedback. If you think it's something should be added here, I will be added. Uh, if you think there is a better way that we can improve this base basic template uh, so it can be more flexible, I'm open to suggestions. Link in description. Uh, if you want to uh, get it there, it's Gamma Road. It's very, very cheap compared to the amount of hours I bought in searching. I can not use Langchain or Lama Index or anything of these libraries. I'm just using plain old JavaScript stuff that anyone can actually use in JavaScript, but it took me you know, time to I can create it and like like this a deployable website in Heroku or Amazon web server or whatever servers provider that you want to deploy it in. So thank you for watching.